first of all, in a problem like this, um, well, that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with some very basic ones, and then we're going to move our way up. Now, the one thing I want to make sure that we do not do, per our discussion, guys, when you have the exact same term over the exact same term, you can divide them in there. The one thing you guys do not want to do is I do not want to see this. Okay, You can't divide this 4. You can't separate across addition. You can't take this 4 and say, oh, I'm going to divide that into both of those. Okay, Do not do that. All right. Now, what we can do, though, what we're going to practice, the reason why I get you, got you guys started with practicing with factoring is we need to practice factoring. To simplify these, as you guys can differ, the difference from today and last class period is last class period, we didn't have any addition or subtraction, right? Everything was multiplied or divided, correct? Now we have expression or we have terms that are separated by addition or subtraction. So we have to be careful. So to simplify them, what we're going to do is factor. So we look at our numerator and we say, how can we factor 4n plus 16? First thing we always want to do is see if we can factor out a GCF. Is there a common factor we can factor out of 4n and 16? 4. So therefore, I factor this to 4 times n plus 4 divided by n plus 4. Now, <clears throat> the next thing we need to talk about, though, is we need to talk about restrictions. So Dave, here's something I really, really want to make sure you understand. Remember how we talked about, guys, when we did this example, 5 divided by 0 equals x? We know that 0 cannot be in the denominator, right? Yes. We know we cannot have 0 in the denominator. So therefore, I take my denominator and I say n plus 4 equals 0. What, it, what value would make my denominator equal to 0? Negative 4. Negative 4. So n equals negative 4. So when you guys find your answer, you're going to say n cannot equal negative 4. Because again, what if I take negative 4 and I put it in for n? Negative 4 plus 4 would equal 0, zero meaning we would have no solution. right? So even though we're simplifying, we're adding in this restriction. So now, is there anything else I can simplify? Anything else I can divide into 1? No. What about n plus 4 divided by n plus 4? That divides to 1, correct? So therefore, my final answer is 4, where n cannot equal negative 4. That is what your final answer would look like. <clears throat>